Hey y'all, I have recently jumped back into Project Broadcast as a kind of texting alert program that I'm going to use for my customers. I've used it before in the past, but I never used it um, to its full potential. And I have been searching and searching and searching for a training on YouTube, whether it be strategically for Scentsy Consultants or not. And to like really get started, how do I get my customers from my VIP group to Project Broadcast in a seamless manner where I don't have to input all of their information? And I was not able to find a training. So I was like, you know what, let me just figure it out and then I'll record one and share it with all of my team and Cincy sisters and misters so that they can easily get started because Project, project Broadcast can be a little overwhelming. Um, I've watched so so many videos and tips and tricks and things that you can do within the app and it's amazing however it can be a little overwhelming so I'm going to show you three very simple steps that you can do to get started and get your customers moving either from your VIP group your newsletter um, subscribers however you currently communicate with your customers to your project broadcast app Okay, so if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up for Project Broadcast if you would like. Um, I will share my referral code so that you can get some free credits just for using my link in the description below here on YouTube. Um, if you're seeing this somewhere else other than YouTube, then, you know, you can always message me and I'll definitely reach out and, and get that code for you. Um, I started with the starter subscription, which was 500 credits per month. And we're going to see how that works, okay? Because you only use, from what I was reading, you only use your credits for the messages that you either are in a campaign, which is like a scheduled kind of day-over-day -day message system, or they are, they are able to use them just for like any kind of scheduled message that you have. So, um... If you don't know what Project Broadcast is, a good place to start is actually on their website. They have a lot of trainings that they offer to you as soon as you sign up. And they will actually give you credits to use for your messages just by watching their training videos. However, with that being said, I still was not able to find something on how to get my customers from my VIP group to Project Broadcast in a seamless fashion in just one video. So that's why we're here today. Um, so, three things that you're going to want to create. A configurable form and two keywords. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is create your configurable form, which is just like an intake form. It can, It's going to look a lot like a job form or Google form. However, it's strategically already in Project Broadcast. And what it will do is as your customers complete those, it will actually create... A contact a contact in project broadcast for you using your fields that you create rather than you having to input all of their information into the app itself which is something that I loved okay so if you already have like a customer intake Google form or job form you can simply pull your questions from that and use it in Project Broadcast if you would like. You can 110% do that. What you're going to want to do though is go over here to the far right. And I will say Project Broadcast is a lot easier to work on a desktop. I'm on my mobile right now. Um, but And I did all of this on my mobile. But I will say that it is easier to navigate on a desktop and you do have to get signed up on a desktop I'm pretty sure but if you're on the app you're going to go over here to the three little lines which are your menu and you are going to scroll down under this top portion right above manage accounts and you're going to see configurable forms okay this is your first step is creating that configurable form which again like I said is like a jot form or google form but it's within project broadcast and it's just like a customer intake form okay 
Now I'm going to show you mine and then I'm going to show you how I made mine look like this. Okay. So I have mine labeled as new customer text alert registration. That's just what I have it named. I have a description here. So that's what's going to show above where my um, fields like name, address, all of that. This is going to show above that. And I will show you guys what this looks like at the end. Okay. I'm going to, I do have a keyword applied, which is one of the keywords that you do need to create. And I'll show you guys how to do that. I have mine to apply the keyword customer text alert done on form submission so that it will send them an automatic message once they hit submit on my form. And then down here at the very bottom are all of my fields that I have in there. Okay. Now, first name, last name, company, email, birthday, and anniversary are the default ones. I don't use company and I don't use anniversary. I would probably use anniversary for like my team. However, I'm just showing you how to get your customers from your VIP group to your um, project broadcast at this time. Everything else, so my address, what types of fragrance, what are some of your favorite products, products you're interested in trying and sampling, what licenses do you love, is there anything that you're obsessed with, are there specific collections that you like? Are there any discontinued scents that you like? Are you interested in setting up a rewards link, which is just a party link, or being paid off your own purchases? So joining, those are all things that I put in there, okay? So like I said, first name, last name, company, email, birthday, anniversary, those are all the default ones that Project Broadcast already puts in there. Everything else down there originally looked like this, custom 11, custom 12, so on and so forth. So to change those, you're going to go back to your menu and you're going to scroll down to where it says under settings, it says custom field names. Okay. We're going to click on that. And then here you're going to input and you can see where I inputted all of those questions. Okay. You can use my questions if you would like, you'll just maybe have to like pause this video and grab those. Um, or you can, you can pull your own. So like I said, if you already have like a customer intake form that you already use, you can simply just take those questions. Oh, excuse me. And put it into this form and it would be seamless for you. Okay. After that, you're going to hit save. And then when you go back into your configurable form, rather than saying custom one, two, three, whatever, it'll have your questions in there. So then you just have to make sure you have them enabled. And if you want them to be a required question, meaning that your customer has to put something in the field in order to submit it, then you can also click that checkbox there. Okay, so that's how you're going to get your configurable form set up. This is how you're going to kind of know what your customers want to be alerted about. Okay, next we are going to go over to the key up here at the top and I have a couple of different keywords that I've already set up, but we're just going to focus on two. Okay, my first one was register, which is what my keyword was in order for them to receive my configurable form. Okay, so when I posted this in my VIP group, I said, hey, to get started with my text alert program, text the word register to my project broadcast number okay and then when that happens i have a reply message set that says hey there i'm so excited to share this new way of communicating with you to get started just click here okay so how you get that there because that is my configurable form link that i just created you're going to click on the little pencil type in whatever you want your message to say and then Right beside the paper clip, in between the paper clip and the little light bulb, you're going to see like those little arrows with a slash in the middle. You're going to click that and then it's going to have where you can input those different things. So then you would click on configurable form and then you would click on your configurable form that you created. So whatever you named it and then the check mark up at the top. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to add that in here again. Another thing that is super, super helpful is if you do click the light bulb, it's going to give you like message insight. So it's going to rate your message on the likelihood of the recipient of this message thinking that it's spam. Okay, so you always want to try and stay in the green. And it's going to tell you words in all caps may decrease your deliverability. 
using salesy language, using dynamics field makes messages unique and personal, all of that. Okay, so a dynamic field is like, hey, and then inputting their first name. Well, I can't do that when I'm sending them this message because they're not a contact yet in Project Broadcast. So I don't, I don't have their first name, right? And that would make it not able to be delivered anyway. So I just left it as this. And what that does whenever they send register to my broad, my project broadcast number, it gets them to the form. It'll send this message with the link to the form. Okay. So then that's going to take them to the form. They'll fill out their form. And remember when I was on my configurable form and it said apply keyword to contact on Forbes submission so that they're going to text the word register. It's going to give them the form. And then when they submit that form, it's going to apply the keyword customer text alert done. Okay, so if I go back to my keywords and I click on customer text alert done, this is the reply message that they get. It's going to say, perfect. Thank you so much. I've received your responses and cannot wait to share with you everything that is coming to Cincy World soon. Be sure to save me as a contact in your phone so you know the next time that I reach out to you. If you need to restock on anything today and then I just put a trackable link to my website. Okay, so again, that would just be edit, hit the little insert button and then do trackable link. How you set up that trackable link is you just go back to your menu get out of the configurable forms and scroll all the way up. It's the very first one that says trackable link. And all it is is a URL. You just put it in there and then you can see who has clicked on it. Okay. It's just my website. That's it. That's where it takes them to. Okay. So that's the only thing, the things that you need, you need a keyword to set up for your kind of trigger word. That's going to allow them to get your form mine was register. So whenever, like I said, when I posted this in my VIP group, I said to get started text register to 828-944-8686, which is my project broadcast number. It, they get that entry message that says, hey, fill out this form. And then when they submit the form, they get that second message that says, thanks, I've got your questions. If you need to, you know, save me in your phone, if you need anything else today, here's my website. Okay, so I'm going to show you in my messages what this looks like for the customer. Okay, so she messaged register. So I said, hey there, I'm so excited to share this with you, blah, blah, blah. Click here to get started. So if I click there, it's going to take me to my configurable form. Okay, and I have terrible service right now, so it's probably going to take a second to load. All right, so here's my little entry message, and then here are all my forms that are fields that I created, and they all have asterisks, which means they are, um, you know, they there has to be some kind of info in there. Now, if they don't want a message, they can do NA or leap, you know, put a period or whatever. Um, but then when they hit submit, it's going to give them that keyword, and then. It's going to say, perfect, thank you so much. I've received your messages and cannot wait to share with you everything that's coming, blah, blah, blah. If you need to restock on anything, that's great. Okay, these little keywords, the customer text alert done, your customer doesn't actually see that. Okay, and I tested this with my husband's phone earlier. They don't see that. They only see messages that you that they send you and then what is on the right hand side that you're sending them so like then when I go to her contact I'm going to show you where the responses show up as well okay so here and I scroll down past because I don't want to give her address out but here under custom fields is going to be all of her answers, okay? And you can click on the little pencil and it'll bring it up in that form so that you can kind of read it a little easier, okay? So then what you can do, so like this customer, her favorite products are wax bars, wash, washer whips, scent circles, bathroom cleaner, blah, blah, blah. So then what you want to do is you want to create keywords for all of those things and attach them to her contact so I, you can see how I've kind of already did some of that and it kind of initially looks like I've been sending her fruity citrus woods bakery but those are keywords that I'm putting on her contact she's not actually getting 
those messages, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's, I'm not sitting here blowing her up with fruity, citrus, woods, bakery, wax, washer whips, scent circle, bathroom cleaner. She's not getting all of those messages. It's just showing up here on the back end um, because I attached that keyword to her contact. Okay, so that's all you have to do is set up two keywords. And you really don't even have to have that second one. I just like it to says, hey, thanks, I got your things and then send them to my website should they need to you know place an order today and then your configurable link which is that first keyword mine was register is to get them to that form hopefully this was helpful if you guys have any questions please let me know again I will drop my referral code to project broadcast down in the comments um should you want to use it but hope you guys have a great day and hope this was helpful bye y'all